in my conversations with the president and the administration. Uh, he has been very consistent on wanting transparency, and I have not seen a major pushback uh, on this request uh, as long as it protects sources and methods. Bruce Orr had told the key people at the FBI that Chris Steele, the author of the document, was desperate to stop Trump from being elected. They knew the Orr's involvement, both Bruce and Nellie's involvement in producing that document. They didn't tell the court that. Andy McCabe knew. Lisa Page knew. Peter Strzok knew, and Andrew Wiseman at DOJ knew as well. That was Congressman Mark Meadows and Jim Jordan today calling for the declassification of Russia investigation documents that could reveal big-time corruption at the DOJ. Joining me now, the aforementioned congressmen themselves. Welcome to both of you. Uh, uh, Congressman Jordan, the more we learn about Bruce Orr's contacts with Christopher Steele that predate what we believed we talked about months yeah, ago right. now the timeline has been pushed earlier right. and yet his wife worked for the fusion gps firm did they not know this at the justice they department why is this conflict not Top. blaring across every media outlet tonight right. given what we've learned it should be yeah it should be but you got a top justice department official whose wife's working for the firm hired by the clintons to produce the dossier the dossier was the key uh and everyone at the FBI knew about it. Andy McCabe, Peter Strzok, Lisa Page. And now we know Andrew Weisman, a key player on Mueller's team, knew about it as well. How early did he know about they it? They knew about it before they went to the court, the FISA court. And that's the key fact. They knew about the Orr's involvement. They knew about who paid for it. And they knew what Bruce Orr told us, uh -huh. that he told the FBI what Christopher Steele said, that Christopher Steele, the guy who wrote it, right. was desperate to stop President Trump from becoming president. And, and none, of this, none of this was in the FISA application, Congressman Meadows. That's correct. Uh, well, we don't believe so. Well, you know, yeah. We have not seen, seen the, the, entire, actual, okay. the, the actual FISA application, but from the footnotes that we have, from the memos we have... Uh, Can it all be declassified? Well, that's what we're calling all, all of All of these. Yeah, I, listen, the American people need to judge for themselves, and we believe that it is time... Uh, not a month from now, not two months from now, but days from now to declassify this information, show it. And you know what, what we believe we're going to see based on non-classified documents yeah. is that information was collected in an abnormal way, it was verified in an abnormal way, and it was prosecuted in an abnormal way, and, and all because there was a, uh, a bias towards this president. Yeah. And that information was never presented yeah. to the court, which is well, what they're supposed to do. Russia viewed Carter Page as an idiot. They didn't think, they, 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 of course they want to recruit everybody. They try to recruit him, they're like, he's an idiot, not, not reliable. They didn't put that in the uh, FISA application either, correct? That wasn't, there was no red flag about that. How do you get an application to spy on Carter Page when the Russians themselves tossed him to the side as, this is not someone I, we can... Well, and Mueller's not even going after Carter Page. I mean, here we are two years into it, and we're not doing it. But here's the other thing, Laura, and yeah. so I, I shared with you, uh, one of the things that we've recently found out... Oh, in, is this his exclusive yeah, uh, this, reveal tonight? Yeah, Let's hear uh, it. In a new batch of text messages, is that there was a coordinated effort by those at the FBI... Uh, to actually leak to the media. We now have documents that prove it, where they leak to the media, then they use the same information to verify the veracity of their claims and actually uh, use that for a FISA warrant. Well, you, you can't do both. Wait a you, second. Wait a so second. the FBI had a leak to the media strategy, and, and it's troubling. So they would leak. So it's like a circular. Oh, exactly. It's like the game of telephone. It just keeps going around and around. So they leak to the media. Then they cite the media report. Cite the media that report. That they leak as, to. As, this as is ever. insane. Yeah. But, this is, but how, where, why do these text messages, they just keep showing up under rocks? Well, and where do we, you get all these text listen, messages? Listen, you know, you know I've been very now. critical of the DOJ. Not but they're turning things, them over now. These through, are new? These are new text okay. messages that, uh, you know, uh, we, we viewed in, in camera. Okay, so the Solomon Report tonight, the, again, we yeah. referenced Bruce Orr efforts to secretly reshape the Trump probe started earlier yep. in the summer of 16. Right. That's important for our viewers to understand why. Well, I think the biggest part of that is is when it started earlier, it was all supposedly about Papadopoulos. Now we're starting to see that it had nothing to yeah. do with George Papadopoulos. It had everything to do. All roads lead to the dossier that was yeah. paid for by the Clinton campaign and the Democrat National Committee. Oh, but there was a footnote in the FISA application that referenced some opponent of the president's yeah. might have been.
most convoluted way you could say it. But it, it's worse than that. It not only started earlier, it went after they fired Christopher Steele. He continued to meet with Bruce Orr, and the FBI continued to get briefings about those conversations that Bruce Orr was having with Christopher. After they had gotten rid of him. Was he forthcoming actually, behind closed doors? We're out of time, but he, yeah. was he forthcoming behind closed doors? He was. They actually met with, with Steele more times after he was fired yep. than before he was fired. Oh, my yeah. God. This is... I just I, I want the text messages to never stop coming, okay? Right. Because every it, it time we like have you two on, the text <laughs> messages, it's, it's the text messages. Congressman, thank you so much thank for you. coming in.